What up guys, it's your boy Frank Legend and today we're going to go into Macy's in Manhattan to review some men's colognes. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, let's go! So I'm gonna try out these new uh, Oreo croissants. All right, right? Yeah. This is what yeah. it looks like. These are oh shit, these are actually big. I told you they're big. Wow. You got like filling inside. Mmm. Yeah. Right? Pretty big. We're gonna need napkins. <laughs> We're gonna need napkins. <laughs> so it's got like a creamy filling inside. Right, so check it out, guys. I'm over here at 34th Street, Harold Square. I'm gonna do a quick vlog in Macy's, and um, I already got some good shots of the kids dancing in the train, so that's always a good shot to put in the New York City vlog. And um, got some good shots around here in 34th Street to show you guys what it looks like. It's packed a lot. Well, it's not as packed as before, but it's definitely almost back to normal. So. Really happy to see that. Oh my god. Look at See if I can find some new cologne for myself. Um, I gotta smell good. I want to invest in like a, in a good cologne, so hopefully we can find something of you know value here. And um, yeah. What do you think? Okay, it's not bad. So for the perfume, we have two sizes. Well, three sizes. The 3.4 ounces, uh, 155, and then the five ounce is gonna be 195. 195. Uh, and the small size, 50 ml, is gonna be 125. 125. All right. Thank you. I appreciate it. Let us sit. You know, walk around. I just checked out Chanel, blue the Chanel. So we're gonna see if uh, maybe Dior. I heard some good stuff about Dior Sauvage. So I'm just gonna see. If this is something that you know I might invest in and check it out, all right? The parfum. Okay. It Thank you. This is really strong right now. This is strong, yeah. Yeah, yeah it is. How much is um? 155. 155. Which one is the 155? Which size? This size 155. Is there a bigger? What's no, this one is only one size. There is only one size. Yeah, because it's annoyed. It. So we don't need a lot. Just a couple of sprays. There. Okay. All right. So this is 155 right there. We're checking out some of them. So far, like Chanel is a little bit like more pleasing. It's not as strong as the as the as the Dior one. So I'm, I'm leaning towards that one. I don't know. Oh wait, Tom Ford. 
Tom Ford. I heard good stuff about Tom Ford. Yeah. I just saw Tom Ford, so I want to check that out. Oh, wow. Yeah. Look at how fancy that looks. Okay. Um, you want to try to be a or on paper? On paper. Better on paper. Tell me how you like it. Or if you like something lighter, stronger. What, what is the scent? What is it called? It's wood. Food wood. Wood. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm like new to cologne. So like, I don't know too much about it. So maybe you could like give me a breakdown of like how to, how to get like the best one. I don't know. Well, this is our best seller. Okay. This one is amazing. I mean, mm. Stay down all day. It's oil based. Oh, it's oil based? Okay. Here. That's yeah, it's not as strong as the other one, right? Yeah, no, that one's really good. fabulous. How much is that one? For this size, it's three sixty. Mm. For this size, it's two sixty. Two sixty three. Okay. Two sixty. Two sixty. Two sixty three. Yeah, I heard a lot of good stuff about this brand, so that's why. I like it. All right, so we tried out Blue de Chanel, uh, Dior, Tom Ford, and now we're about to try out Polo Ralph Lauren right there and then also Versace trying out that one let's go let's go find out what it smells like fancy I like this one that looks like Lucas <laughs> it does look like Lucas that is Lucas oh shit that's that's perfume that looks good This is this one, right? How much is this one? That one it is 98. Thank you, thank you, appreciate it. I think the next one is Versace. Versace. Yeah, this I feel that Bulgari is like definitely more manlier, like it has a more manlier smell, in my opinion, to Valentino. Because Valentino seems a little bit more fruity, but hands down I think out of all the cologne so far, Chanel. Blue the Chanel. I like that one. I think that's the one. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ninety ml is one twenty-eight. One twenty-eight. Yeah, and the bigger bottle is like one fifty, I think. All right, so we're at Macy's, and I think that I'm gonna go with Blue de Chanel. Uh, probably by the end of the month, because apparently this is a special going on. So I'm gonna take advantage of that. Dior was really strong, in my opinion. Again, this is all my opinion, but Dior was really strong. We tried so Sauvage, and then we tried Chanel. I really like that one. Uh, it's like a, it's a good, not too strong, not too like light, and it's gonna last a while. And then we tried Polo Ralph Lauren. It just di it just didn't seem to like have that it factor you know like that 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 spark it didn't seem to just like it just it just seemed kind of watered down and then i also tried gucci but gucci smelled like a little bit of floral don't like that type of like fruity smell valentino surprisingly also was very fruity in my opinion and then um what was the other one tom ford okay tom ford was really good but that shit was expensive as fuck so i was just like you know what I'm not spending like 350 for a cologne at the moment. Maybe later, but yeah, I'm gonna probably spend like 200 for the Chanel. That's my opinion and that's my review. I'm gonna stick to it. All right, I gotta finish. Damn, look how fresh I look with this. What was he looking at? <laughs> All right, so here's what I've learned so far about colognes. And let me 
off the rip, let you guys know I don't know anything about colognes uh, going into this, going into Macy's, like, and smelling so many different scents. I was just like pummeled with <laughs> all these new aromas that I never even knew about. Um, so I'm pretty much of a novice. Uh, but now I want to invest into a good cologne and my biggest takeaway about this is that Remember when I put a Dior here and Chanel blew the Chanel on this wrist, bro, it is 2 p.m. That's 12 hours from when I was in Macy's. I Still smell these colognes like I smell Sauvage right here Dior it's still here. It's literally, I've washed my hands. Like I've washed my hands, but here obviously what am I gonna wash it for? But I left it on on purpose, right? I haven't showered, like, <laughs> which I know is a, might be a little gross to somebody, but I wanted to test this, right? Sauvage is literally still here. It's not as like, so like in your face. Like when I first put it on, remember it was just one, that's it. It's not that that strong of a smell now, 12 hours later. You can almost barely smell uh, Chanel, Blue de Chanel, but it still smells great. So it really came down to those two options because like I mentioned earlier, Valentino was too fl uh, floral or like fruity in my opinion, almost smelled like a woman's cologne. Uh, maybe it was just the brand that I, I saw there and that they showed it to me, but it really did smell like that. Gucci, surprisingly, I don't know. The smell itself, it wasn't what I expected. It was also floral and like fruity, kind of like womanly and almost, yeah. Um, Bulgari was more manly, had that more like, you know, that, that, that manly smell, but you know, nothing compared to like Chanel or like to Dior. I tried Polo Ralph Lauren. There was like blue and then there was also red that they were showing me. You guys like saw that. I didn't know what the hell she was talking about. She asked me what cut, what I wanted. Polo Ralph Lauren, I can see why the price is much lower than these other, you know, two brands. But Polo Ralph Lauren smelled good. But I could tell that because it wasn't that expensive and had too much of a concentration of that parfum. It wasn't gonna last me 12 hours. Like this is literally 12 hours later, I still smell this, which is insane. I've never like experienced this <laughs> before, <laughs> believe it or not. I also tried Versace. Versace had a Versace had a really, I don't know, I didn't even like Versace that much. Like the, the cologne that I smelled from there was just like, eh, like Tom Ford, right? The Tom Ford cologne was like, I'm gonna put it very bluntly, so maybe my Hispanic viewers could kind of know like what this is about. Uh, if you guys have never used Fabuloso or like Mistoline, it kind of smelled like Mistoline or like Fabuloso. Like, you know, the, the thing that you use to like mop, like that you mop on the floor. I don't know if you guys use that or not, but go to your nearest <laughs> convenience store and get you a Mistoline or Fabuloso. Just like smell it. It smells like you're cleaning your room, right? It almost smells like that. I think they said that it was kind of like woodsy or citrusy. I think it's like citrusy, right? Let me tell you something right now. Tom Ford smelled like Mistoline or Fabuloso, but in a good way. Like no disrespect to the Tom Ford brand, but it just smelled kind of like that because it was so citrusy, but at the same time, it smelled good. Like. I like I love my house smelling like Mistoline and like you know <laughs> like Fabuloso but I don't want to smell like I just cleaned my house like Mistoline or Fabuloso so I'm a pass on Tom Ford I'm definitely getting the blue of the Chanel because that smell despite it not being as strong as Dior right now it still smells better and that's only because I apply like one I think like one or two dabs and that was it so imagine if I actually like put it like Really nice. Oh my god. I think I got what I wanted. I figured out the smells. I hope you guys enjoyed the footage that I took of Macy's and what it looks like at 34th Herald Square. I really enjoyed taking a whiff out of all these different colognes. Uh, learned so much about it. Basically, Parfum is the strongest scent that will last you 12 hours. So get Parfum. If you are someone that wants to invest you know, into a cologne, get that type because Parfum will last you eight hours six to eight hours so the whole work day and then some maybe even 12 hours you know okay l de toilette 
I think that's how you say it. Uh, but the, to the one that says L E A U the to the toilet whatever that one will only last you like an hour or two hours and then it'll go away. It smells really good. So much lighter in concentration than the other colognes. But if you don't want to invest too much, that's your best option because those are cheaper colognes. Um, the price is lower because of the concentration being less. Me, in my opinion, I'm gonna get a parfum because I don't wanna keep on spraying cologne and like, you know, carrying that around. I just wanna wear it once, and that's it. We out, we out, we out for the whole day. We didn't need to think about that anymore because we know we're gonna smell good everywhere we go. That's what I got for the vlog for you guys. Hope you enjoyed my take on it. It is an average man's take on cologne. I don't know too much about it. I'm a novice in this. And um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this review about that. And you enjoyed going into New York City, Macy's 34th Street with me, guys. Stay tuned for more vlogs. Check this out soon. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and support the vlogs if you guys are enjoying this. And comment other places that you'd like me to visit or other type of reviews that you'd like me to do in the city. Uh, there's so much to do in New York. I'm here to show you guys what you can do if you go into New York City. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for more vlogs. Peace out. What up? Hope you guys enjoyed those clips. Watch the full video on YouTube, www.franklegend.com for more information. Find me on social media as Frank Legend on everything.